Hello Aquarius, welcome to your yearly 2018 uh, reading. In this reading I will be, it's a, it's a general reading and I have laid out 12 cards, each of them representing a month and I will look at the energy that is there for you for each of the months for 2018. It's really beneficial because um, you will know what, what energy, what particular energy is around you in that month and you can plan and um, decide what you're going to do to you best utilise each of the months to bring forth the best possible results. So what I talk about here is the energies that are around you in those months uh, and that can be really beneficial for you. If you would like a personalised yearly reading I'm going to have available for the month of December and January an opportunity for you to book and have your own personalized yearly spread and reading which is going to be very specific to you it's an offer that's only available for December and January if you follow the link below you can book for uh, that reading uh, it's a good idea to book because once it's booked out it's booked out. I'm not going to extend that. I'm only doing it in December and January. So if you are interested in that, then have a look at doing that as soon as you can to ensure that you get a spot. Okay, so, because that will be really beneficial. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank you for subscribing and viewing and commenting on my channel. Really appreciate it. And all the uh, wonderful subscribers that have gotten in touch with me for personal readings. It's been really lovely to connect with you uh, and and get to give you your personal reading. It's just been great for me. I really in, have enjoyed it as well. I hope it's been beneficial for you. Okay, so let's get started, shall we, and see what's in store for you in the month of January. <clears throat> so you're going to start the year, Aquarius, with um, you're going to have decisions that you're going to have to make in January. There's decisions and, that are, and choices that are going to come up for you and it seems that the energy, it's going to be, you're going to have a hard time making those. You're not going to know which way to, to go with those decisions. A lot of them are to do with family, with the home, with relationships. Um, it's a, I feel like it's a personal type of decision, that it's a heart space type of decision and you're balancing it out, you're working it out in your head, you're trying to intellectualise it uh, and, and having a really hard time with the choices and the decisions that you're needing to make here. Um, so you're feeling stuck in January, there's a, it's, there's a little bit, uh, you're feeling stuck and what I would say to you is collect your information, collect your information, do your pluses and minuses in any situation and see uh, it's a decision that needs to be made, okay, it's a decision that you're being put into by the universe to say well here you go, you need to make that choice, you need to make that decision. Um, if you make it, you're going to develop a real strength of character. If you don't make it, the universe will take charge and you know it'll unfold in another way, which is always not as, as good. But um, it's a decision that you're having difficulty with. You're really having to balance. And I feel like it comes from a heart space and I'm also feeling like there's a heaviness around my heart. There's a heaviness there. Um, so it's a hard decision to make whatever that decision is for you. It's going to be different for different different ones, different areas, um, obviously, because everyone's in a different situation. For some, it's going to be mundane sort of little decisions. And I think for others of you, it's going to be a really big life-changing decision. Which way do I go? Which path do I choose? You really come up against this fork in the road uh, in, in your journey. And there's a decision that you need to make here. Um, I also want to say to you when you're making that decision, look at you, what is, what is good for you, what is good for you, what, what is going to help you, what is going to assist you in, in making that decision. Um, so it's, it's going to be a very uh, reflective sort of month, a month of making choices. And they're, they're decisions that only you can make. Nobody can make them for you. So it's it's really your you. It's for you to make. <clears throat> you can't. 
I, I don't feel like it's about receiving advice from other people. It's really got to come from your heart space. It's really got to come from what do you want? What direction do you want to move in? Which direction do you want your life to go? Okay, so um, that's the energy that's around you. Let's have a look at February. You know, obviously, in, by February, you're you're very strong. You're very passionate. You know, you've made the right decision. Um, you're sitting sitting pretty with that. So obviously, you have made those choices in January because the energy that comes through in February is one of okay, I've done that, and and you know, the the Queen of Wands is passionate, is determined, is strong. So you've obviously level-headed and you know analytical to a point it's there's a coldness about it there's a coldness about the queen of wands there's a the energy is, is one of well this is what's going to be good for me this is what I'm doing and I have this strength so you've made your choices and decisions you're going to stand by it in February so you're feeling good about what the decisions and choices you've made um, feeling solid feeling good feeling in a position of power self-power not power over others but self-power so you're, you're feeling uh, in a good place you're feeling you, you found that fire in your belly you found that strength in February to get you through um, that situation comes March and you're going to uncover you're going to uncover some sort of betrayal, some sort of deceit, some sort of uh, backstabbing something's going to someone's not being truthful someone's not being truthful around you uh, you will uncover it because it's your your there's that determination you know you're bringing with you the energy of the queen of wands and um, <clears throat> you're going to process that information you're going to process that information it's self it's discovering it yourself uh, it's it's about just you discovering it yourself um, but there is <clears throat> a deception there is a deception there is a, a black mouth someone's not being truthful to, not being totally honest with you not being truthful with you um, and you will uncover it it's going to be uh, hurtful it's always hurtful when you find out someone that you uh, trusted you, you, you don't trust anymore uh, there's something going on follow your gut follow your instinct um, you will uncover it for some of you it's in the work environment <clears throat> someone taking credit for work that you've done and you're going to find out about it and for some of you it's going to be in the love relationship home environment for some of you it's going to be children that a child that is not being honest there could be a little bit of um, I want to say a little bit of theft maybe you found a little bit of money missing from your wallet or there's some some deception there that, that you're going to find out about so that is going to be uncovered for you in March <clears throat> in March what you do with that information you know you, it spills over into April and in April it's about um, temptations it's about temptations it's about creating your own prison it's about creating your own cage um, you're going to take action. Make sure that the action you take is action that is um, of a true intention. Don't be tempted to take the easy road out or cover things up. Okay, it's about not being pulled by other, you know not not being a puppet on a string, not being influenced by what other people want you to do, what other people want you to cover up. It's about you. Um, not being tempted to take the easy road but to do what's right what is what sits right for you what is working for you so the devil card is really all about temptations you know and and it could be external temptations as well what temptations are out there for you uh, that are going to um, not sit well with you okay um, don't if you've if you've uncovered some sort of a betrayal in in March don't be tempted then to counter that with another betrayal, okay? Maintain your in integrity, your honesty, and make the right choices, choices that are going to sit well with you because otherwise it's going to, it's going to close you in. You're not going to feel good about it. 
okay so there's a couple of months there that you know you're really uh, going to find things out truths are going to come forward um, and you know you come out of it really well <clears throat> because in May you've got the star so whatever's going on here whatever's going on in you know in the first four months of the year it's going to be played down by the energy that you've got in May in May everything's possible you've, you've come through it you've come through it well you've come through it with strength you've come through it with um, you know uh, balance the star is to me, you know, what they're what I'm hearing, what, what they're telling me here is wish upon a star, wish upon a star. It's like opening up Pandora's box and all these surprises come out. The universe is going to reward you. Wish upon a star. You've done well. You've maintained your integrity. You've maintained your dignity. You have uncovered truths and you've dealt with them well. And so you're being rewarded in May. So May is a wonderful, wonderful, you're going to feel really good about it in May. You can manifest, you can create, you can, you can bring into your life whatever it is you want and you set about doing that. What do I want? What is going to be good for me? I'm going to honour me. That's where you're at in May. Fantastic energy. By June, you know, you've got the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. This is beautiful, this card. The Wish card. Again, you know, following through from, from um, May, you've got June, you have the Wish card. Create whatever it is you want. Bring it in. It, all goodness is going to flow to you. Everything that you've wanted is going to flow to you. Everything's going to be balanced. It's about how well you manifest, how well you create. So this is the energy that's around you and it's how well you've utilised it that you're go and you're going to, if you've done really well, you're going to reap really strong, beautiful energies of manifestation, all good things falling in your lap, just coming across, coming your way. It's going to uplift you. So you're going to feel really uplifted. You're going to feel really good. Life is really good in May and June. Come July, <clears throat> another absolutely fabulous month. So you're really going to come into your own in the middle part of this year because the world is new beginnings. It's the world is your oyster. Uh, if you're looking at, I feel like for some of you, you're going to consider a new job change, a new direction. Um, if you've got study, you're going to get really good re um, re reports or um you're going to do really well with your study. It's going to you're going to get accolades for it. It's going to improve your work situation. Um, <clears throat> you're going to hear of a project that you've had underway, and it's it's been accepted. It's doing really well. Good news is coming to you in July. Everything's going to fall into place for you in July. <clears throat> your projects. If you are applying for a new job, that's when you need to do it. You know, June, July, fabulous months for job applications, uh, study results, new ideas in your own business, um, contracts, uh, house purchases. It's going to be good for all of those things, all of those things, whatever it is that you're wanting. You know, <clears throat> in August, you're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to feel loved, you're going to feel fulfilled, you're going to feel safe, you're going to feel secure, you've got your family around you, uh, friends around you, uh, life is good, life is good, life is flowing, life is uh, what you know. whatever you want to make it, everything's balanced. So any upheavals, any turmoil you've had in the first four months, that settles, that settles and you've made your choices and decisions and, and you're in a really good place. You're in a really good, you know, that's just a really lovely card. Um, <clears throat> it's about enjoying being at home, enjoying being with family, enjoying being with your children, with your loved ones, with your friends, socialising, uh, people being, also people are going to be drawn to you, Aquarius. People are going to be drawn, drawn to you, drawn to your energy. They want to be part of what's going on with you because it's really lovely. <clears throat> in September... You've, your plans have come to fruition. You've done really well. So now, where am I going to next? You're taking charge of your life. This is the journey. This is my five-year plan. This is you're going to be. This is my five-year plan. This is where I'm headed with determination, with newfound zeal, with with enthusiasm, with with reaping results, being productive. Excellent card, great energy. So don't hand the reins over to anyone else. You do it. You take charge. You follow your path. 
you decide uh, where you want to go, where you're headed, really clarify it in your, your mind, where you're going, where you're progressing in your career, in your business, in your home environment, um, in your life, are you planning holidays? Just you need to take control. You need to make those decisions. You need to make do that planning. So if you're in a, a relationship or in a family environment, you're going to be the one really that's steering this. You're, you're steering all of this, okay? <clears throat> At work, there could be a promotion for some of you where you're going to be put in a position of more authority where you are calling the shots, you're controlling it. You've got people working under you and you're guiding them. But you're... you're in the lead of this journey. So <clears throat> that's really very good. In September, in October, <clears throat> you're going to feel, well, I feel absolutely fantastic. What new projects have I got? What new ideas can I put into place? You're going to, you've got all your ideas, your ventures, They've taken seed, they've grown, they've been successful and now it's about manifesting and bringing into reality new ideas that you've got. You're going to have, you're going to feel like um, you're going to get that inspiration, you're going to get that download, you're going to get that um, ideas planted in your mind. Um, <clears throat> don't talk too much about it until you've manifested them into reality but there's going to be ideas, motivations, plans, projects uh, that you've got in mind, whether it's a house move, a location move, planning a holiday, um, projects at work, if you've got your own business, a new way of doing things, it's going to be different for all of you, but it is going to be a month of aha moments. Aha, that's what I want to do next. That's where I'm headed next. And then in uh, November, the Page of Cups is New Beginnings new ideas, new, it's whatever you're going to, this new project that you're going to take with you, I feel like it's, um, you're going to absolutely love doing it. You're going to have this passion back. You're going to love doing what you're doing. It's going, it's in the initial stages. So the seeds are being planted and you're starting to materialize what it is you've been shown. So there's, it, November's going to be new things, new things being born, new things coming in um, on an emotional level as well. So if you're in a relationship, you will meet someone it's, that you've just met and it's in the early stages if you're single. Okay. Um, if you're in a relationship, I feel like it's, um, there's going to be a different, you're going to reconnect on a different level. There's new way of connecting. There's a new way of connecting, um, which is really lovely. So it's a month of new beginnings, things, plans and things just starting out, just starting out. <clears throat> You've got the Ten of Wands here and it's about... Um, in December, you're going to look back on the year and, well, what have I learnt? These are all, this is all your knowledge, everything that you've learnt, everything that you you have become, you're going to take that on board. It's going to, you're going to feel like you've been subtly changed as the year has taken you through this journey. And by the time you get to December, you think, it's I've completed this, I've completed it. I've, I am where I've wanted to be. I've learnt all these things. I've got all this newfound knowledge. I've got all this newfound wisdom and it's going to see me through to 2019. So you really, it's, it's a, a completion. It's a completion of this cycle. It's a completion of, of what you've had to learn here. You've learned these lessons. You've moved on. You've created. You've manifested. And now it's time to move into 2019 and see what it has in store because 2019 is going to be a totally new year for you. Okay? So... Um, I like that. It's really about acknowledging the passion and the drive that you've had and reflecting on all of that, um, which is really, really lovely. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a card from Doreen, Doreen Virtue's Angels of Abundance, which is going to give me an overview of your year and what is the primary energy, what is the primary thing um, that you're needing to learn this uh, over the year okay what's your card let's have a look moonlighting 
You have moonlighting. That's a beautiful card, isn't it? Calling in the angels. Calling in the angels. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. And it's your, you know, your dream career, your dream life, your dream family. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's there for you. It's, it's going to be there for you. That's very much your year. You know, there's a year of changes in the beginning, a bit of upheaval, a bit of moving about, but then things settle when you make your decisions. And it's about your dreams coming to fruition. Your dreams coming to fruition. Lovely. Okay, what I'm going to pull out now is a card on your spiritual journey, what you need, your inner inner journey, what's going on there for 2018. They're lovely cards, Aquarius. A bit bumpy in the beginning, but you get through it with flying colours, absolutely flying colours. So things settle very, very quickly. Okay. Patience. The cycles the cycles of the moon, the cycles of life. You know, there's a pregnant lady in the middle and that's a cycle. That's a cycle. You have to, you have to go through the labor, the, 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 the uh, gestation, then the labor and then the birth. And that's your year very much. You know, you've got, you've got the labor um, and then the birth of your new project. It's all cyclical. That's beautiful. So you need to just sit and be patient and let things unfold for you because they, they certainly will. They certainly will. I hope that's been beneficial for you, Aquarius. I think you're in for a very exciting 2018 and I wish you well for your, your 2018. If you would like a personalised yearly reading, please follow the link below to my webpage where you can book uh, for the month, available only for the month of December and January. So I hope you found this useful.